I want to dive into partial change of ownership for business acquisition and how this new rule for the SBA guidelines can help you. So in the past, you, uh, if you were a business owner selling your business, you couldn't be involved in the transaction at all, meaning you had to be out of the picture, out of the equation. You sell the business, you're gone, right? Well, now with the partial change of ownership, a buyer can come in and the seller can go from say being a 100% owner down to being a 19% owner. Uh, that seller would not have to personally guarantee the loan and the new buyer could come in. So that's gonna help with leaving some of the equity in the deal, being creative. Also, if you're buying like an HVAC company and let's just say you're, you don't have your license in, in that particular state, you need a license, that seller can stay on for a 1% ownership interest and utilize the license in that capacity. So there's a lot of flexibility um, with this new uh, SBA rule change. So uh, I was thinking, originally when I heard this, I was like, this is awesome. This is really gonna be a game changer. And then because the SBA rules have changed so much, I, I asked an underwriter, I said, is this, is this legitimate? This was a few months back. And she said, no, you have, we still have to do a six month look back. So that owner would have to still be a guarantor if they were hundred percent owner and now they're 19%, they would still have to guarantee. Well, it's now cleared up. That's not the case, which is great news. So essentially when you're structuring your offers on business acquisition, you can leave the seller in um, and potentially have some kind of slower process of paying them off, leave their equity in the deal. You need the license. So this, this is a game changer for SBA guidelines. And as a entrepreneur looking to acquire businesses, this is gonna be a very useful tool for you. Uh, there's a lot of new rules happening, uh, changes each month that I've seen. Uh, there's some new initiatives starting in November. Uh, the guarantee fee, for example, um, up to a million dollars, they're waiving the guarantee fee on the 7A. Um, and then it's reduced up to $2 million. So there's a lot of advantages right now. Uh, and if you look into, into the rules, most of the rule changes are for the better. Um, and I, I believe that we're gonna continue to see a strong uh, year in SBA financing. So if you're interested in business acquisition, franchise startup, these are all eligible for SBA financing. So anyway, if you have any questions on SBA financing, you can go to bookwithbo.com, you can schedule an appointment with me we can dive into all different caveats of SBA, how to structure deals, you know, leaving uh, seller's equity on standby and so forth. So there's a lot of ways to structure these deals creatively, which basically allows you to buy these businesses with little to no money out of pocket if done correctly. Thanks a lot. We'll see you on the next episode. Are you trying to escape the W-2 rat race? Or have you always wanted to own your own business? Have you ever thought about owning a franchise? If so, FranUniversity.com can help. Our training program teaches you everything you need to know about franchise ownership, from choosing the right franchise to launching and running your business. We have the resources and specialists to help you from A to Z. You'll gain the skills and knowledge you need to succeed as a franchise owner. The best part? It's free to join. Go to FranUniversity.com. Hey guys, Bo Exine here. If you enjoyed what you saw, please subscribe to this channel. We talk all things financing. I've been in the lending industry for over 20 years and I'm happy to answer your questions and provide great content.